Hello and welcome to this lesson on the tune Game of Thrones. This is the uh, theme from the television programme and this is the second video lesson I've done on this instrument, the DG Melodeon. The first one I did was for a Melodeon that had the uh, low G scale Anna Hatter layout. This is for the more standard uh, layout. So to play this tune, to, to be able to use this tutorial, you're going to need a DG Melodeon, this row D, this row G, you're going to need accidentals at the end. It can be a third button start or a fourth button start, doesn't matter. Uh, and obviously uh, it's going to be different because some of the time, instead of uh, diving down to those nice low A's and B's and C's that you've got on the Anahata layout, we'll have to jump up an octave, sort of come further this way to get the notes we want. But I still think it sounds pretty nice, so there's nothing to worry about. So start with the bellows close for all those pull notes. And the left hand is pretty straightforward. Just an E bass. Now what we want here is E minor and you'd have that by default. Um, but uh, obviously with my stop up it's E5. We hear it as an E minor. In an E major chord we have G sharp but on the right hand here, we're playing a G. So we're completing our minor chord with two hands. So we're feeling this, what is now an E5 chord, as an E minor. So you've got a B and an E. One note per bar, so they're dotted minimums. One, two, three, one, two, three. Finger four, finger two. On the D row, of course, on the pull with your... E bass and E minor chord. Standard um pa pa. So we're going to drop down to position plus two. Now we're going to play G on the D row, little finger, and then we're going to play F sharp on the G row, finger two. So finger four, finger two, and then we're going to play the E on the G row, finger one. All on the pull. And then we're going to change position, we're going to come up to. Play this note here, which is C natural. And then the button below on the push, the only push note in this bar gives us a D. So there's a change of position in that, in that bar. Now we use the same bass button that we were using. So remember we were going D bass, D chord. If we pull out on those buttons, it gives us A bass and A5 chord. We're going to feel that 5 chord as a minor here because of what we're doing in the right hand. We're starting on the same note, this E on the G row on the pull. Then we've got G on the D row on the pull. C on the G row on the pull. And then we have um, a D on the G row on the push. And this time, for the first time, we've got C bass C chord behind that. Now in bar 36, we start the same. We have E, G, but this time... We do one of my little daggers, we do D and E on the uh, same button. 